Welcome to our Real Estate Briefing Show, where we dive into the latest happenings in the world of real estate and beyond. First up, we're tackling the hot topic of inflation under President Joe Biden's watch. It seems like this unwelcome guest is planning to stay a bit longer, potentially overstaying its welcome until after the November elections. The main culprits? Auto insurance and rents. Moving over to Oklahoma City, where businesses are thriving but the warehouse market seems to be hitting a bit of a rough patch. Despite the economic upswing, factors like inflation, rising interest rates, and construction costs are causing a bit of a stir in the industrial property scene. But hey, it's not all doom and gloom, there's light at the end of the tunnel with anticipated improvements in tenant demand. And for a heartwarming turn of events, Boise is setting a shining example with its latest initiative to combat homelessness. The Boise Rescue Mission is opening 58 transitional apartments for low-income residents, offering a new lease on life for those in need. From $0 to $500, they're making sure everyone has a place to call home. So, stay tuned for more details on these stories. Please continue to watch for more in-depth coverage. In the whirlwind world of economics, President Joe Biden finds himself navigating through turbulent waters as inflation stubbornly clings to the American economy. As Rick Newman, a senior columnist at Yahoo Finance, points out, the specter of inflation may continue to loom large until after the elections in November. The Federal Reserve, the guardian of economic stability, is caught in a tight spot, unlikely to slash interest rates until inflation retreats to its cave. The central bank's target of a modest 2% annual inflation now seems like a distant dream, overshooting by about 1.5%. While the inflation beast has not yet sunk its teeth into goods, it's being fueled by the likes of auto insurance and rents. However, Newman offers a glimmer of hope, suggesting that these factors will eventually plateau, bringing some much-needed relief. Amidst this economic landscape, the housing market is feeling the heat with mortgage rates on the rise. According to Freddie Mac, the average 30-year fixed mortgage rate has stubbornly stayed over 7% for the second consecutive week, marking the fourth week of upward movement. This uptick in mortgage rates adds another layer of complexity to an already intricate economic puzzle. The interplay between inflation, interest rates, and the housing market presents a multifaceted challenge for policymakers, businesses, and consumers alike. As President Biden and the Federal Reserve navigate these choppy waters, the resilience and adaptability of the American economy are put to the test. From the bustling business scene in Oklahoma City to the fluctuating mortgage rates, the dynamics of Bidenomics offer a rich tapestry of challenges and opportunities. As we look ahead, the path to economic stability and growth is fraught with uncertainty, but it is also paved with potential for recovery and renewal. In an inspiring move that speaks volumes about the community's dedication to battling homelessness, the Boise Rescue Mission has taken a significant step forward. This nonprofit organization, as reported by Yahoo US, has ingeniously transformed a former assisted living building into a beacon of hope for low income residents in Boise, Idaho. The newly established Next Step Complex now boasts 58 transitional apartments, designed to offer a fresh start to individuals who have previously found themselves in homeless shelters. These aren't just any apartments, they range from cozy studios to more spacious one and two bedroom units all equipped to provide not just a roof over the heads of their occupants, but also essential services like meals, case management, and counseling. What's even more remarkable is the sliding scale of the program fee, which can be as low as $0 and caps at $500, ensuring that affordability is based on the tenant's financial capabilities. This initiative not only offers a tangible solution to homelessness but also embodies a compassionate approach to recovery and rebuilding lives. Halfway across the globe, in the bustling city of Hong Kong, another ambitious housing project is underway, as detailed by the South China Morning Post. The city's housing chief, Winnie Ho Wing In, has proudly announced that contractors are going at full speed to deliver an impressive 29,000 light public flats. This endeavor is part of the government's commitment to address the city's acute housing shortage, with a target of 30,000 units set for the 2026-27 financial year. The projects, which span across various locations including Yuan Long, Tun Mun, and Kai Tak, account for a whopping 96% of the government's wider target. In addition to these, another 800 light housing flats are in the pipeline for Ma and Shan. Ho's announcement also included the expedited completion of 2,147 public rental flats at Singyi's Chengqing Estate and Tun Mun's Yip Wang Estate, which are expected to be ready in the first quarter of this year. This massive undertaking not only showcases the government's proactive stance on housing but also highlights the importance of swift action and dedication to meet the urgent needs of the community. Both of these stories, from Boise, Idaho to Hong Kong, 
showcase the power of innovative housing solutions in tackling the global issue of homelessness and housing shortages. While the contexts and scales may differ, the underlying principle remains the same, providing affordable, accessible, and adequate housing is fundamental to uplifting communities and ensuring that every individual has the opportunity to lead a stable and dignified life. Through the efforts of organizations like the Boise Rescue Mission and governmental initiatives like those in Hong Kong, we see a glimmer of hope and a roadmap towards a future where homelessness and housing crises are no longer insurmountable challenges but problems with viable and compassionate solutions. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email.